Greetings, welcome to another episode of the Italian RTG and today we finish off champs after last time leaving off with a record of 8-2 and two after very unfortunate back-to-back -back losses and we start with an opponent that we weren't sure was he going to troll us or was he actually going to give us the win as he drags out his keeper we get the goal and straight after that Sir Atletico Bonni would leave us and allow us to go 9-2 off the get-go so at this point 7 wins required for the dream of rank one rewards the 105 and juicy thousand coins that we really need and to do that we start here with Tenali into Insigne with the classic shot curling wide goes too wide <laughs> why are you passing it to the keeper top of that farting soft mozzarella shots from Insigne confuse us but eventually we would use kiss as a blistering pace to get through almost scare ourselves because it, I mean that is the literal definition of top bins and just like that one shot is all it takes I'm there I'm literally there for the tackle so we have to do it all over again it's the 90th minute it took us a while to craft another great chance and unfortunately it would be wide and after 90 it was 3.9 xg to 0 0.5 it's the same old story so it's Zaniolo who comes in as a super sub and he ends up messing up, but he made, wins it back, and that was all we needed. That was all we needed to take the lead back, and at this point, it was all downhill from here. Nice cross from a gassed out Insigne into Poli Papi, and we get the W. So, 10 wins, 2 losses we face in this team featuring Benzema, and uh, he would leave without giving me the win. Guys, I don't understand. If you're going to leave, just give the win. It, it's really not that difficult. Uh, but uh, whatever 10 and 2 we try again to make it 11 and 2 and our opponent would come at us with Fakir ball roll into Ronaldo he's always going to finish those can't be given that type of space to people with top top tier players so it's Kiesa's explosiveness nice nice Kiesa that keeps us in the game and then Il Sharawi to Insigne beautiful play but you could tell I was upset that it wasn't quite enough and so Insigne with a little toe poke snooker shot love that and then Il Sharawi Chiesa one two combination plays beautiful way to get him in skill to cut inside and then the keeper moves Insigne is given the ball and it's so easy for him at that point to score now to add insult to injury it is Chiesa with the body feints but it wasn't enough still had to show it because one of my all-time favorite skill moves which I wish was just a little bit better especially the backwards body feint exactly how we did it right there so it's El Sharawi to Politano in the box blocked then we do a dummy which works out in the end Politano keeps it he's on the wing trying to find someone in the box that he does but it's Pope put the return of Pope so nice beautiful ball first time control and while the ball is still in the air we chip it but it wasn't yet enough so Insigne finds Politano How, how's that gone in though show me all those shots pre-game and that's the one I least expected to go in once again no 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 we have to do it all over again so off the corner one minute of extra time Politano dances weaves wops gets himself in a great position oh my god inject that in my veins right now not even our dyslexic speech could handle it but it was an outrageous run from him if I say so myself and then it's Kiesa ambitious shot but the rebound Oh, that's so blessed. Blesses us. And in the 54th, we try to close it out completely. So it's Giesa using his pace with a nice explosive sprint. And that was it to get us to 12 and 2. As we edge it closer to the rank 1 dream, we're going on a nice little streak, neutralizing that unfortunate two game losing streak. We go 1 0 up. And as the theme would have it, we would eventually have to defend our lead straight away so we had to think all right what do we learn boys we've learned that italian rats italian rats go down the middle yep <laughs> what can i say i know i know my people i know my people the amount of people from italy who play a certain way and end up still going down the middle is staggering so in the 55th it would be politano dragging us to a 2-0 victory and sealing the deal as we then face Calcio Catania with the Serie A team. Barella, Osimhen, Lozano. He goes in. Dybala 
dances, turns. No, 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 no. Still playing on edge, as you can see, only one goal sends me into an oblivion of a triggering status and then Cannavaro, not sure what he's doing there, into Politano. No. Dude, you have to shut this game down. You have to shut it down. I mean it when those shots are just so difficult, man. On the right side with a player of the opposite foot relative to the side he's at. Magnan goes insane. Probably should have passed it, but it was just too enticing to find. And then eventually we find the run and what an out chip shot that is. First time reminds me of a chip shot that Totti scored back in the day. Even one that Cassano scored as well. Beautiful. If you know, you know. So he goes down the wing off kickoff and just like that. Dude, this fucker just went down the wing. Cannavaro has 95, 95 jumping. The brain was fried at that point as I relived memories of FIFA 08 of people just running straight or whenever that was, but it would be all right. We would dance in the wing, make it 2-2 again, and then to get the lead back, the lead that we oh so deserved, he moves his keeper. Move your keeper. Move your keeper. But we saw it just in time. So it's Kiesa into Insigne, the combination play works, his defense splits open like the seas, but the keeper movement gets me this time. It's like we don't learn. We can't learn. It's something about it. And so it's 3-3 in the 67th. And it takes us up until the 82nd to find another chance. Let's go. Let's go. 14 and 2 against Mercy. 11. Would he have Mercy on our souls? Or would it be desperate? It doesn't start off well. With the pink pitch lines, looks like I'm playing on a candy field of cotton field. And we make it 1-0. And this was a really strange game, ladies and gentlemen. Because you can see he pressed pause. I do blur it out. But look at what happens next. Bro, what? He pressed pause, but it never went to pause. And then I, I literally heard the menu. Boys, something weird is happening. I'm not playing. What the fuck is happening? Dude, 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 dude I don't know what's happening. Guys, I'm telling you, something fucking weird is happening. I'm playing the AI? Why the it's second man pressing? Dude, I have no idea what's happening. I was wrong. I was playing, but I had reason to believe why I wasn't. Because essentially, what was going on, as you can see, I was definitely playing the AI. But something happened here, ladies and gentlemen. Something very strange. After he pressed pause, it felt like someone was playing for me because not only was I playing the AI, but it was like my controls changed. No, it wasn't like my controls changed. My controls did, in fact, change. And it, I feel like I got his controls, right? Because I was second man pressing with R2. I was sprinting with R1. I sprint with R2 usually. I second man press with R1. I was shooting with uh, like a square, slide tackling with, sorry, everything was messed up. And so essentially, yeah, I came to the conclusion that the game gave me his controls and this was what I was seeing at the half. This is not a freeze frame. As you can see, I'm moving on the top right corner. Eventually we would just dashboard and luckily we would get the win that we earned. But for a minute there, we were scared. We were, we, yeah, we were scared, but it is what it is. Weird glitch. Who knows if he did it on purpose or not. I've, I've talked to people and lots of people have had this happen, but we move on to the next game at 15 and two, Mr. Mike would be in our way. And hopefully Mr. Mike wasn't going to pause and uh, make me play the AI until the halftime when it's would then freeze he would though get the lead one time and then he would do it again two times as he would twist turn for a while again into ronaldo carbon copy goal take a while but eventually we would cut the distance short as we look for the cut back don't find it so we orange time a shot with barella but that was it it was kind of a dead game so we have two more chances to get our 16 wins and it begins here with el shirawi exploding right as he deselects his keeper we get lucky but i'm done trying i need all the luck in the world we had it coming though as fakir equalizes it so we had to do it all over again and it's pulley poppy in times of trouble dribbling getting us an opportunity to get the rebound and again pulley poppy turning he was on something tonight finds the opening for insignia and then kiesa finishes the job and there we go ladies and gentlemen rank one had been achieved 105k is the most important the premium team of the week packs once again we're saving so sometime in the week we're gonna have a bunch of those to open red picks we weren't too fussed about yes we did get candreva but i'm a bit iffy i know i said no lazio players he has a history of lazio uh, so it's a bit weird 
but I guess he will look all right on the bench. Rice and Tadic next to him. So fodder, if nothing else, we'll take that. And then just the ultimate pack to open, which at this point in the game, I think we're only like eight or nine players over 100k coins. We really need to be lucky here to make some serious cash. We do get a walkout, but it's the ominous Spanish flag that for some reason does not have any value in this game and nothing behind of note. So we're going to leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. We now have around almost 500k plus premium team of the week packs waiting to be opened. Will we sell Cannavaro to buy Bajo? Who knows? We'll make those decisions in the coming videos as we open a final preview pack to see if we have any luck. None yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.